Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Yellow! Let's go fight some more biker dudes, because we can! Nice bike! Hand it over! Wow, you already have a bike! Why do you want to steal mine? What the heck? Well, I'm gonna beat you up, trying to steal my crow- Wow! Does he have like a whip or something? What, do you whip your bike? Bro, this is not a horse! It's not a horse race. Well, we're gonna have to try to battle these guys without having any fire attacks on my Vulpix, because I'm a scrub! However, I think they will learn a new fire attack around level 35, so I just have to struggle my way to that point and get a fire move back. I might go get my TM so I can teach them double edge or takedown or whatever I had, because that might give me a chance to actually fight them. However, I'm probably just going to switch out to Brodudo, do some swap training between the two, since I would like to level both of them anyways, might as well do that. Get the fly! Uh oh, wow, he's already not confused, that was fast. I'm going to get the fly though! Bro, you trying to karate chop me? That is not gonna work. I got the fly. Oh, swap training. Oh boy. That hurts a lot. Wow. Just gonna do fly. Yay! He's gonna use another Machop. I don't think I can risk swap training right now because Triforce already got hit pretty hard. Great. He's gonna try to do low kick. I guess that would not have hurt that bad, but Flash, take him down. No! Why does everything live with 1 HP? Why does this happen to me? Low kick is gonna take me down. Never mind, I thought it would not hurt very bad, but it does. So we'll go back to Vulpix, do a quick attack, take him down, then I'll go back. Actually, I have a revival, let's use that on my Brodudo. Or, I guess he's not Brodudo anymore, he's Triforce. Triforce! Uh, nice crotch piece, bro. Hey guys, so it's actually about 20 minutes later. I took the time to clear out all the trainers in this area while using Fast Forward, because pretty much every single trainer in this entire zone have the same Pokemon. They have Grimer, they have Coughing, Mankey, Machop, and I think one dude had a Voltorb, and that was pretty much it. So here's the stats of my Pokemon, or the levels. We got Matilda to 34, uh, Curtis 32, Triforce 29, and Vulcan 32. I didn't actually end up using Thor at all. But the reason I decided to off-screen those guys, aside from it just being repetitive, well, there's just a lot of trainers. Look at, there's like six up there, there's three here, there's like five others, so there's just a lot of trainers, but more importantly, today we are getting to a new city and there's going to be a gym battle. So I figure, you know what, let's have the battles for today be from the gym instead of repetitive trainers on the cycling road, what do you say? So we'll just go through this area. We'll go all the way to the bottom here. And one thing I never realized, if you press A or B, uh, well, okay, I should mention, when you're in this area, the bike is constantly going down. Without you pressing anything, it's it's just going down on its own. But I guess if you press A or B, it'll actually hold you in place for some reason. Anyways, we can go up here and talk to this guy. I'm looking for Tangela. Want to trade one for Parasect? No. <laughs> First of all, I don't have a Tangela. And even if I did, it's more rare than a Parasect is. Anyways. Uh, I guess I'll fight these trainers as well. I think these are bird trainers, so I'm actually going to put Thor up front. And we'll take care of them real quick. I'll just show one and then off-screen the other two. Hey, buddy. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Darn it, kitties! Stop barking! So, uh, my girlfriend from New York, I live in California, she's flying out tonight. And, uh, she's gonna be staying with me for about half of the summer, so quite a while. So, I spent the day cleaning, because my house was kind of a mess. So, I cleaned my room as well, which is the room I work in. So, I, I cleaned a whole bunch. The problem is, by cleaning, I used a bunch of chemicals and cleaning products and stuff. And now it's just like my room full of that. And I'm getting kind of lightheaded right now, so I don't, I'm not exactly sure if this is the best working environment. Earlier my nose burned, and now I'm like, I have a headache, so... I've got a feeling I should probably like open up my windows and my door and let the room air out. I should probably not be in here, but... Oh well, I'm gonna get these videos made and then I'll go outside or something. Anyways, let me take care of these two. What is wrong with this guy? Kurukaku! What is this guy, Bill Cosby? His bird call. It's fantastic. Whoa, this guy actually has a Dodrio. This is what my guy is going to evolve into, Triforce. This is what he's going to be, guys. That's kind of cool, but he's pretty weak in the defense department, so I could probably one-shot him. He's very high attack and high speed. Okay, not a one-shot, but I am a Pikachu, so my Pokemon's not exactly super strong. But yeah, high attack and high speed. He also gets really, really strong attacking moves very early, so that's why I like Dodrio. But anyways, take that, scrub. But now... Oops, why did I fast forward there? Now I'm gonna head off to the city. Let's get on my bicycle here. And the new city, Fuchsia. Look at those colors. Actually, let me get off my bike so you guys can hear the music. Oh, it's just this music. 
Okay, well, there's the gym. I'm gonna go over here and heal first, though, at the Pokemon Center. I don't think I need to heal that badly, but might as well just get this out of the way. Now, this gym here is a poison gym. You might also have some psychic types at points, but it is a poison gym. I think one of the trainers might have a Hypno. And I don't think Hypno's part poison at all, but he's there for some reason, so he that's the psychic types I mentioned. So let's go inside and see if Thomas has already beaten this one as well. Who should I put up front for this? Uh, poison, I guess, would be weak to Psychic, so Matilda's probably going to be good here. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to start off with my Vulcan, just because they need the experience. Actually, Triforce needs the experience, so let's start off with them. Some of the Pokemon here might also be Bug types, Bug Poison, so if that happens, then we'll be pretty well off with our Flying type. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. It's strategy! I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength! Alright, I totally believe you, man. Totally believe you. He's juggling some balls. And, yep, there's the Hypno. So just a Psychic type. Th level 38, this thing is rough, dude. Alright, I'm gonna try out Fly. He's gonna use Psychic, that might just one-shot me here. Let's see if it does. And, do I survive? I do not! One-shot, dude, that is rough. This might be the roughest thing in the entire gym, though, this this Hypno right here. So I'm actually going to go to Vulcan and try to get a Confuse Ray on it. So I'll try to do that. He's going to use Confusion. I might survive that. If I do, Confuse Ray is going to be excellent. I do survive. But it failed! Why? Why would it fail there? That is so unlucky. That is so unlucky, dude. That is legit kind of dumb, actually. Well... Let's go with Matilda, I guess. I'll try to confuse them with Psybeam. I don't even know if Psybeam can confuse. Let's just give it a shot. See how this damage goes. He has Psychic while I don't, so that's the rough part. That was a critical. That is rough, man. I really, really needed to get that c Confuse Ray. This might be hopeless now, because he can drop my stats when I can't drop his. So I, I might be better off using Confusion and trying to confuse him here. He's going to use Poison Gas. Wow. I can use Recover to heal if I need it, but, dude, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to try to get... Oh, I confused him. Good. I got it. That is actually really lucky. Come on, hurt yourself. Not quite. He's probably going to drop my special here. Just watch. Knowing my luck, he probably will. And he doesn't. Okay, never mind. So I'll use one more side Beam. I'll probably, re uh, probably use Recover on the next turn. Let's hope he hurts himself this time. I am getting wrecked by this poison. Wow, he's already out of the confusion. That was really fast. Matilda, you gotta win this Psychic versus Psychic battle. Come on. Okay, let's use Recover. How much is this gonna heal me for, though? I'm hoping at least 40. And, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Poison's gonna hurt me, though. I might be better off using a sec- Oh, he's got Headbutt! That's gonna hurt. Okay, let's use a second Recovery here just to build my HP back up. I could also use Super Potion, but I didn't actually restock on those. Okay, so he's gonna just use another Confusion. I'll probably use Confusion again to try and get another Confuse on him. Let's see if I can get lucky once again. Half of this episode is just gonna be me versus this Hypno. Okay, at this point I think I'm better off just using my, my Psy Beam. Ah, uh, this is gonna be risky. I'm gonna chance me surviving one more attack. I might want to use Recover. Ooh! Okay, okay. One more attack. If I survive, then I'm good. No! Crud? Don't do 23. Do not do 23 damage. Come on. Yeah! Okay. Go Psybeam. That was a close battle. Holy cr- Well, we got another critical, I guess. And good experience. Nice. Well, I definitely need to go heal after that one. I don't think the other trainers will be quite that difficult. So be right back. Let's finally read the sign. Fuchsia City Pokemon Gym Leader Koga. Winning trainers? Thomas! Wow! Why do you always beat everything? Okay, guys, so the gimmick to this gym is there's invisible walls, except you can kind of see them. If you see, like, there's a little bit of a blurry line right around here, or there's, like, blurry dots, that's where the wall is. So you can kind of see it if you look. It's a little bit hard to see on an actual Game Boy screen, but I don't think it's too bad even there. I remember always being able to see that as a kid, so I, I don't think it's really that invisible. All right, four Pokemon here. I might actually cut this out. I'm just going to off-screen these two trainers right here, guys, and then we'll get to the gym leader! Oh my goodness, guys, I kind of regret this because I was not paying attention, so I skipped through the dialogue a bit quickly. But after I beat this guy, he said, dropped my balls, and that was it. <laughs> okay, let's go fight the gym leader! 
<laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep. I just spat everywhere. Techniques! Yes, he is indeed a poison type gym leader, even though all the other trainers, they were all psychic types. But I guess he is the poison one. Level 44, holy butts in my first. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. Let's try Drill Peck and see how that does. All right, dude, that was not even a critical. 14 levels behind, and I almost one-shot him. That's how good Drill Peck is. Of course, that's probably gonna wreck me, though. Wow! Triforce taking down a level 44. Holy crud, that is amazing. And we get level 31 for that. Nice, dude. Next up is another Venonat. Uh... Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna switch over to Brute Root, and then I'm gonna use a Super Potion, send Triforce back out, and then try to get another kill on Venonat here. So I'll go ahead, do Item, Super Potion, and that will heal me back up to almost full. Not quite completely full, but hope... Wait, it is... Oh, never mind. I thought Super Potion's healed for 40. That healed for uh, 50. Never mind. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and... I don't know, Leech Seed, if whatever he decides. He's gonna give me a turn, so I'm gonna get a Leech Seed on him. I was expecting him to just kill me. Uh, sure, I'll growl at him, why not? Okay, there he goes, finally killing me. But I got a Leech Seed on him, so that's cool. So then I'll go back to my uh, Triforce and just do Drill Peck twice again. I should survive because the other one was level 44. However, it didn't even, it barely did over half my health with Psychic. So I am still fast with it, which is excellent. If I can do over half, then I'm good. Awesome, way over half. He's gonna do supersonic, but it fails! And I get the Leech Seed, which will do just a little bit of damage. And it looks like, guys, I do not even have to take any damage here. Triforce is amazing! Level 46 is down. Next up is another Venonet. Let's see how I do this time. This one is level 48, however. I'm still faster, and I can still hit more than half. Yes, I can. This time he's gonna do Toxic, so the Toxic will hurt me a little bit, but... It looks like Triforce is going to take down a level 44, 46, and 48 Venonat. That is amazing. I mean, Venonat's not particularly strong, but Triforce isn't evolved either, you know? So here comes Venomoth. Now here comes the challenge. I'm going to try to get one uh, Drill Pack in at least. He's going to use Double Team, so we'll see how this does. Hopefully I don't miss here. And unfortunately I do miss. I am going to get hurt by this poison. So I'll just keep trying here. He's going to spam double team, so it's going to be really hard to hit him. But if I can hit him, it'll be some good damage. Keep missing, though. This is really bad. I'm getting some bad luck here. He's going to do a third double team, making it even more difficult to hit him. I, I don't think this will do even near half of his health. Okay, Drill Peck actually does hit him. And it does almost half. That's amazing. Okay, just don't do any attack on me. Another double team. He's giving me chances here, dude. Come on, let's hit him. Come on. Oh, the miss! Dang it, dude. This is not good. That poison is hurting. I might want to swap here, actually. Let's go over to Vulpix. I'll try to get a Confuse Ray on them. It might be a bit difficult with all of those double teams, though. They are going to use Toxic, so that's going to hurt for sure. But let me try to get a, a Confuse Ray. Now, they might just Psychic and kill me here, so that will be dangerous if they do. They do go for the Psychic, so now things are in dangerous territory. He is going to go first. He'll probably just Psychic my Triforce if, he, if I send him out. And, of course, he gets a Critical. That probably would have killed me anyways, though. Uh, let's go to Matilda and try to weaken him. It's going to be difficult with four double teams. I don't know how I'm going to hit him here. I think what I'm going to do is actually use Confusion and try to get a chance at a uh, Confusion here. Leech Life is going to do some amazing damage because it's super effective, and he is healing. This should do good damage back to him, though. It does, and it gets some critical hit! Go Matilda, level 35 versus a level 50. Triforce takes down a 44, 46, and 48, does half the health to a level 50 in one shot, and then I send out a level 35 confusion for the kill. And Triforce is evolving for my troubles. Yo! Could this episode possibly be any better, dude? After yesterday with all those fails, today we have so much victory. This is amazing. Now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokemon increases. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. Psycho received TM06. I think this is toxic. Yes, indeed it is. A secret technique over 400 years old. 
So there we go, guys. We did it. So I think I'm going to end things here. In Pokemon Stadium, next episode, I'm going to go and defeat the Koga Gym in the Gym Leader Castle. And next time we'll, in this series, we'll come back and do Safari Zone. So I'll see you guys then. Take care.